A local company that I used to respect is now trying to cheat its customers by pretending that half inch steel being bent an inch out is normal. That's disgusting. It's a lie. They're trying to cheat you. Don't let them get away with it. You need to send the bent hitch back and get a replacement. It is not flexed. That doesn't exist for half inch steel that's sitting there like a fucking bent ass paper clip. Hello and welcome back to Speed Freak Garage, home of Power Sports on YouTube. So I purchased a Kurt brand trailer hitch, a uh, class 4 hitch, for my SUV that will be towing our race cars around. And <clears throat> upon trying to install the hitch, I found that it would not go on. And it's a custom fit hitch, so I'm like, okay, what's going on? And it didn't take too long to find out that although this mounting bracket is pretty much spot on. <clears throat> this mounting bracket is bent by over an inch. So if you look at this objectively, we have half inch steel that is now out by a lot. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, but I'll try to show you again. So you can see how well this fits nice and straight <clears throat> and then over here it is out it is way out well hold on, I'm not holding it right it's way more out than that there way 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 out so <clears throat> immediately I called eTrailer.com because you know they're a local company I do my best to do business with locals um, <clears throat> and I've always had good luck with them in the past However, the first thing they say is they're like, oh, it's flexed. That's normal. <laughs> and I'm like, no, it's bent. And they're like, no, it's called flexing and it's normal because it's mild steel. <laughs> and I'm like, look, this is half inch steel. There's nothing in my possession that will bend this back. And it's supposed to fit because it's custom fit. You know, when I buy it, it's supposed to fit, period, you know. And they're like, oh, well, it could have got damaged on its way to our warehouse because we ship a bunch at a time or blah, blah, blah. And they just wouldn't let up that it's normal for the trailer hitch to be so badly bent that you can't install it, which just pissed me off. So they kept trying to say, oh, it's flexed. It's flexed. It's like, no. Okay, so it's going to be really hard to do one hand. But you can see this paper clip, right? Now you can see I can flex it. So I'm flexing it. And I release pressure and it goes back. So watch again. Flex it and it goes back. Flex it and it goes back. So this trailer hitch is not going back to its original shape. It is permanently bent. So to give you an example, now it's permanently bent. Okay? So if I sat here and I bent this paper clip over and over and over again, back and forth, back and forth, the paper clip would break. This trailer hitch is no different. If I were to go to a shop and say, hey, I need you to bend this back straight, they would do it. But then the trailer hitch would be substantially weaker than what it is now. And it's already weakened from where it's supposed to be because it's already been bent. It's damaged. It's a defective trailer hitch. So after arguing and arguing and arguing with them, they sent me some stupid little cartoon about how to bend it back. And I was like, no, I'm not doing that because every single thing in this cartoon basically shows me damaging my own property or equipment to try and fix this hitch that you should have sent as correct in the first place. So eventually, after a lot of arguing, I convinced them to send a new hitch. So the new hitch is going to arrive tomorrow. But they said, well, the new one could arrive flexed too. And I'm like, you mean bent? And they're like, no, it could arrive flexed, and you'll have to flex it back. And I mean, you mean bend it back. And they're like, no, and you only get one chance. So if the next one is flexed, and I'm like, bent, <laughs> then, uh, you know, that's it. So they're going to send me another one, and if that one's bent too, then I'm basically screwed. So that's that just pisses me off that such a once, a company that I used to respect, a local company that I used to respect, 
is now trying to cheat its customers by pretending that half inch steel being bent an inch out is normal. That's disgusting. It's a lie. They're trying to cheat you. Don't let them get away with it. You need to send the bent hitch back and get a replacement. It is not flexed. That doesn't exist for half inch steel that's sitting there like a fucking bent ass paperclip.